so this video is going to be on calculating pH from a titration and this time it's going to be weak acids and sodium hydroxide so the example here is calculate the pH in the titration of 10 centimeters cubed of a 0.1 mole per decimeter cubed solution of sodium hydroxide at the point when 10 centimeters cubed of a 0.25 mole per decimeter cubed solution of ethanoic acid is added and the Ka for this is 1.76 times 10 to the minus 5. So the first thing we do is not that, the first thing we do is we calculate the moles of the acid and the hydroxide or the base. So the acid, the acid if you look there is it's 10 centimeters cubed, no nope. Yep, 10 centimeters cubed, and the concentration is 0.25 mole per decimeter cubed. So if we times these together, the concentration times by the volume, not forgetting to convert into decimeters, we get our moles as being 1, nope, 2.5 times 10 to the minus 3. Then if we do our base, this is going to be 10 centimeters cubed times by the concentration which was 0 0.1 so concentration times by volume in decimeters gives us our number of moles so our number of moles for this will be 1 times 10 to the minus 3 so from this we can work out what's in excess, it's quite obvious to see, it's the acid and the acid is in excess by and then we just minus the initial acid by the base so that's going to be 2.5 times 10 to the minus 3 minus 1 times 10 to the minus 3 and this gives us 1.5 times 10 to the minus 3 moles and this is in excess. Using what we have now we can calculate the total volume of the mixture. That's simple, that's just the volume of the base added by the volume of the acid. So that's 10 centimeters cubed of base plus 10 centimeters cubed of acid and this gives us a total mixture of 20 centimeters cubed and this is where there's two different steps we need to calculate the H plus so if the acid is in excess we use our Ka expression if hydroxide is in excess we use the Kw expression you should know what they are by now if you don't I've made videos specifically for them to so just look for them on this playlist so in this instance the acid is in excess so we use our Ka expression so Ka equals and then it's always products over reactants so if you think about it the acid is dissociating so we're gonna have CH3 COO minus because that's a salt that will be formed and the H plus and this is all over the reactant which was the acid CH3COOH you'll normally get a mark for writing that out hence why I've done it now I'd recommend you rearrange this obviously to give you your H plus and I think I might just work a bit smaller now because this is a lot of working out so H plus equals Ka times by the acid all divided by the salt okay so now that we've rearranged it for H plus sub in your values but don't forget we're working now in concentrations not moles so we need to divide our our moles by the total volume to give us these concentrations so 
if you want to you can do these in your margin I think I'll do that just for this time but normally I just do them in the calculator so our concentration of acid and don't forget that's the acid in excess is going to be 1.5 times 10 to the minus 3 divided by our volume which is 20 times 10 to the minus 3 and this gives us our concentration of acid as being let me just use my calculator for this and that's not point not seven five moles per decimeter cubed okay so now we've got that we need to work out our concentration of the salt well that's already been worked out because that's basically the base that we added here you don't need to ask questions you just need to remember that's what the concentration, well, that's the moles that it will be. Sorry. So we do need to convert that into a concentration. So again, we'll just do 1 times 10 to the minus 3 divided by our total volume, which is 20 times 10 to the minus 3. And this gives us our concentration of salt. And this is, again, let me just use my calculator. Not point not five. Okay, so now we can sub in what we know into our equation. So our Ka our Ka is one point seven six times ten to the minus five. I would use brackets just so everything's kind of organized. Times this by our acid. And our acid we worked out was 0 0.075. And this is all divided by our salt, which we worked out to be 0 0.05. Let me just check that because my memory's not the best, yes. And this gives us our hydrogen concentration, which, subbing this in, 1.76 times 10 to the minus 5 times by 0 0.075, all over 0 0.05, 2.64 times 10 to the minus 5, which is correct. Okay, now the final steps, the kind of the home run, we just calculate pH using our H plus concentration. Get rid of that. So that's just going to be minus log of our hydrogen concentration, 2.64 times 10 to the minus 5 equals pH equals, if you put this into your calculator, you will get a value of 4.58 to 2 decimal places. Okay. I did have another example, but it's exactly the same. So if you just want to stop the video now and move on, feel free. But if you just want a bit more practice, well, you might as well just listen on. So calculate the pH in the titration of a 30 centimeters cubed solution of 0 0.7 mole per decimeter cubed sodium hydroxide at the point when 50 centimeters cubed of a 1 mole per decimeter cubed solution of ethanoic acid is added. The Ka this time is 1.7 times 10 to the minus 5. So again it's the same steps as before. We have to calculate the moles of our acid 
and the moles of our base, so the acid will be the concentration, which was 1, times by the volume, which was 50, times 10 to the minus 3, when we convert to decimeters, and this gives us our moles as being 50 times 10 to the minus 3, and then if we do our base, Well, this is going to be concentration, which is 0 0.70, times by the volume, which was 30 centimetres cubed, so convert to decimeters. And this gives us our moles as being 0 0.021. So, work out what's in excess. If you can just tell from there, impressive, because I can't, so I need to use my calculator. Just subtract one from the other. If you get a minus number, you know you need to flip it around and subtract the other number from the other, if that makes sense. So, to work out what's in excess, in this case, again, the acid was in excess. So, acid is in excess. Colon. And now calculate how much excess it's in. So, 50 times 10 to the minus 3 minus 0.021 equals 0.029 moles. Cool. So now, again, we just calculate the concentration of the H+, plus, and again, we'll be using our K expression. And so for this, Ka equals CH3COO minus H plus and what you'll notice with these questions is they're pretty much always ethanoic acid. So again working out the concentrations for these, well the concentration of our salt is going to be not point not two one divided by 80 times 10 to the minus 3 because I think I missed a step, did I? Yep, I for some reason wrote this here. This should have been up there. Should have figured out our total volume, but that's not hard, that's just 80 centimeters cubed. So this gives us our concentration of salt. I'm just going to write salt. And that is not point not two one. Not point two six two five. Capital M, by the way, means mole per decimeter cubed. Just in case you were curious. Then again, we need to find our concentration of acid. And this is the excess acid. And this is going to be. Not. 0.029 divided by 80 times 10 to the minus 3 and this equals 0.3625 excuse the silence, I was just using my calculator so once we've done this, we can just sub in all of our values, so it's going to be Ka times by, and remembering the rearrangement from last time, and if you don't remember, there you go, the rearrangement's here. So Ka times by the acid, so that's going to be 0 0.3625. all divided by the salt, which is not 0.2625 and we do know our k value, I've just not put it in there just because it's such a long number and you can do it yourself but that's 1.7 times 10 to the minus 5 times by not 0.3625 all divided by 0 0.2625 and 
0.2625 and this gives us our hydrogen concentration as 0. I mean sorry 2.3476 just do as many decimal places you want really just to be more precise times 10 to the minus 5 equals h plus just so you know and again the final steps the simplest just do minus log 2.3476 times 10 to the minus 5 equals pH equals 4.63 so there you go that's two examples if you had an OH in excess it wouldn't have been all that different all you would have done is use your KW expression which we did for the strong acids and then you just do all the steps that you did for the strong acids because well there's no weak acid kind of influence then from the excess so there you go that's calculating pH from a titration enjoy <laughs>